This video was brought to you by stntrading.eu. They enhance your trading experience by offering extremely fast automated trading services for both TF2 and CSGO. Check them out in the description below. Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today we're going to be doing the top 5 best heavy cosmetic set loadouts. Now I'm going to be trying to get this series done pretty much as quickly as possible now that this video has come out because I feel like once again these kind of series drag on for a little bit after a while and once I get to like the fifth video like the heavy every single series I'm just like you know what I want to do as much of this as I can so if you could suggest any loadouts for the engineer that video should be coming out within next like next week at some point so that would be really awesome I'd like to get this series finished as soon as possible so I'm going to be doing one of these videos every single week for you guys so hopefully you enjoy that so today we're going to be doing the heavy as I just said and the title says and the descriptions probably says and the thumbnail shows you but yeah let's get on with it <laughs> So there are quite a few weird loadouts in this video. The first one is this, the Warhood, the Pyrovision Goggles, and the Allfather. I mean, any loadout that seriously features the Pyrovision Goggles is bound to be weird and actually kind of funny. So this one actually got showed to me on a live stream. I don't remember who showed it to me, but honestly, when I tried out the Warhood, the Pyrovision Goggles, and the Allfather, they look so funny together. Like, it's insane to see just what the heavy looks like and how weird he can actually look with these weird cosmetics. I know there's clipping and everything, but that's kind of what makes it funny as well. You can change the style of the Allfather to give the set kind of different looks, which actually looks pretty awesome as well. And I don't know, it's an awesome set to like joke around with and just to make your heavy look a little bit silly. Next up, we have the proper Santa loadout for the heavy. So last time I made this video, there wasn't actually a Santa set in here, mainly because the Allfather didn't ever work in my SFM and the heavy didn't really have a Christmassy coat or anything like that. But with the addition of the gift bringer into the game, we can finally make this a reality. So this set includes the BMOC, the Allfather and the gift bringer. So obviously this is a Santa set, the heavy fits it, really really well. I used to think the soldier was the best class to have the Santa loadout on but now I'm kind of changing my mind and thinking that the heavy might be a better, I had a voice crack then please ignore that. Um, but yeah now I think that the heavy might be a better Santa loadout because he kind of fits like the stereotypical Santa shape. I mean it might be a pretty pointless loadout to have now because it's like summertime but just come Christmas this will be a useful set again and maybe we'll make some videos with it when that comes out. Now, this set was actually featured on a comment of the last time we actually made this video and I read through them to try and get a little bit of inspiration and I got told about this one. This includes the Soviet Gentleman, the Heavy Lifter and the Jungle Booty. Now, honestly, this looks much better than I thought it was going to do. I mean, I didn't really know what to expect when I first started looking at it on loadout.tf but it actually looks kind of like a poacher in a way, like I'm not too sure, maybe it does, but I honestly think that like, it is a very nice, nice jungle themed like loadout, I guess, in a way, in some ways it could be something different, but I honestly think it looks like slightly jungle type themed or poacher like, and it is a really good look for the heavy. I didn't think he'd suit something like that, but I don't know, this game constantly surprises me with sets that can work for these classes. Next up, we have this loadout, and this was actually pretty much in the last video, but there a lot of people suggested a bunch of changes to it. So that is the Hound Dog, the Cuban Bristle Crisis, and the last time we featured this was with a Borscht Belt. I don't think that's the best cosmetic to use for this anymore. A lot of people were saying the Bolshevik Fight Biker, or something like that, or a Sib Siberian Sophisticate, something like that. Maybe if you wanted to go for like a proper beach look, like. And not really Johnny Bravo because he doesn't really have a beard. But I mean, if you wanted to go for that, you could use a heavy lifter, I guess. But there's a bunch of different shirts you can use for the heavy that will make this set look awesome. And I just really love the Hound Dog and the Cuban Bristle Crisis together. I think they work amazing. And just having any other random cosmetic that fits the loadout well is going to make it look insane. I mean, I tried to warn you that these were going to get a bit weird. 
And this final one is no exception with the virtual viewfinder, this big steel jaw of summer fun and the crafty hair. Now, I originally got suggested this thing with the cadaver's cranium or at least something similar to that. And honestly, when I looked at download.tf, I didn't really like it. I don't think the cadaver's cranium or whatever it's called really works well with any set, honestly. It's not the best looking hat, but I do feel like if you put the crafty hair on this set, it actually does look all right. I mean, not really all right, but you know, it looks weird. And that's kind of the goal of this one, especially the virtual reality and the big steel drawer of some fun put alongside that. I don't really know. This set is just like a mess. Like if you want your hairy to look like a mess, boom, there's the set for you. Honestly, I think it's kind of funny. I kind of like it at the same time, but it is a weird one. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Let me know what you would like to see in the engineer cosmetic set video and maybe go back and watch the last one so you're not suggesting sets that have already been in that. So I don't know, I don't wanna include the same sets. In this video I did mainly because I still feel like it is the best set or one of the best sets for the heavy because there haven't been that many other ones that have been added in that you could use a lot of and I don't know, I just love the way the hand dog looks with the Cuban bristle crisis. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Hopefully I'm gonna be getting back on the proper video grind and the streaming grind very soon. Cause I've like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the videos I've been making recently haven't been the way I want them to be and like not been what I should be making. So hopefully we can get back into doing all of that stuff soon. I've actually started working on my biggest project for the summer and hopefully that's gonna be awesome when it comes out. I still have a lot of stuff to work out with it, but production has started basically. I don't know when that's gonna come out. You'll see it eventually. And yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video as I said constantly and I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Goodbye. I walk with the elephants. Rolling, rolling with elephants.